Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Today I'm here to teach you on how to clear, balance, and align your chakras. There are seven chakras, well, I should say seven major chakras, on your physical body. Starting at the base of your spine, the first one being the root chakra, known as the earth element. Now, it goes according to the colors of the rainbow starting with red at the base of your spine. Next, we have the navel center. The color is orange. The element is water at your navel center. Sacral chakra, moving into your water chakra, your navel center. Moving into your solar plexus, right here. Solar plexus is your fire. The color is yellow. That is your primal energy, your battery, if you will. Your heart space is the air element. The color is emerald green. At the throat, at the ethers, the communication channels, the color is blue, like an aqua blue. To your third eye, your intuition, your visions, your ideas, your clarity, it's indigo light. And the element is light. At the crown is your spiritual connection. The color is violet. To your I am presence to source, to God. So we have earth, water, fire, air, ethers, light, and crown. Rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Now, each chakra represents a different elemental property. It represents a different crystal, a different aromatherapy, essential oil, different energies, meaning one's communication, one's security, one's love, one's balance, okay? And then it also represents a different sound. The food elements, it represents different food elements. Now, we want our chakras to be spinning in a clockwise motion. That's right, a clockwise motion. How do we even know what's going on with our chakras? Well, I'm gonna teach you. Now, as I talked in another video on how to know what's good for your body, we have a pendulum. Here it is, a pendulum. Now, do you need to have a pendulum to know what's going on with your chakras? No, I'm gonna show you an easier way as well. Now with the pendulum, it's just a necklace strand with a crystal at the bottom and a point. Now, if you don't have a pendulum, as I mentioned, you could also take a necklace chain and then you could put a ring at the bottom. It serves pretty much the same as a pendulum would. You will see momentum, you will see movement as it moves right now. Now, we're first gonna be checking into each one of your chakras. Now, you would hold the pendulum and you would say, tapping into my earth chakra, tapping into my earth chakra. Seeing how it is moving? Good, you'll see a momentum. It's spinning in a circle. Tapping into my water elements. Tapping into my water elements. Tapping into my water elements, you're gonna see? Spinning in a circle. Tapping into my fire element. Seeing how my fire is. Tapping into my fire element. spinning in a circle. Tapping into my heart element. Tapping into my heart element. Back and forth. Back and forth. Forwards and backwards. Tapping into my throat element. My ethers. My communication element. Tapping into my throat element. Tapping into my communication channels. Please be more specific in how it is running. Okay, small circulation. A little bit stronger. Tapping into my light elements, my third eye. Tapping into my third eye, my visions, my intuition. Spinning a little bit, stronger, okay, good. Tapping into crown, my crown element, my higher self, my violet light, back and forth. Now, after you could identify what's going on with their chakras. Now, we want our chakras to be spinning in a circle rotation, okay? A circle rotation. That means it is moving. 
in a clockwise direction. Now, a lot of times, your chakras aren't going to be spinning properly. Sometimes they spin backwards. Sometimes they're not even moving, completely dead. So that's why we use the pendulum to see how our vehicle is running. If your car was in reverse, it's going to be going backwards. If you have one of your gears in reverse, things aren't going to be working out in your life the way you want them to. If my third eye is going backwards, maybe I'm having complications with seeing not only into the present, but also into the future and ideas. Okay? We need to run your chakras all the time, every day. You want to do this almost really before you gotta get out of bed. Now, do you have the time? I'll show you in a shorter video on how to do it quicker. Okay? But today, we're going in depth with clearing, balancing, and aligning your chakras. Now, with your pendulum, now like I said, you could also have your necklace and a ring. It works the same way, okay? You want to make sure there is enough weight so you actually have momentum. Now if you can't see a momentum going back and forth, left and right, circle, reverse circle, okay? Please be more specific. How is my earth element running? Please be more specific, be more clear, a stronger current running through me. Please let me know how my earth element is running, okay? So we want everything moving in a circular motion, kind of like this. So a pinwheel, okay? It spins. That's exactly how you want it to run. You want it to go in clockwise motion. So moving forward, after we can identify what's moving, what's not moving, what's going forwards or backwards, okay? We will first take an essential oil. There are some different essential oil per each energy center. Now, do you have to have all these different essential oils? No, you could ultimately use the same essential oil for each and every one of your energy centers, hence aligning. Or you could use a specific essential oil per each energy center. So starting at the base of your spine, you could just take the essential oil for the earth, you have your cinnamon. Cinnamon or myrrh, okay? Just rub it in your hands, all right? You just inhale to that space. Inhale through the nose, and out through the base of your spine. Good, okay? So you're inhaling that essence all the way down to the earth element located below your navel center at the base of your spine. One more time, inhale, stomach rising, and out. As you're inhaling, I want you to envision the color red going into that space. At the same time, you want to envision, okay, that spinning in the clockwise motion. As you ground yourself into Mother Earth, inhale red, spinning, spinning like a wheel, okay? That's all you're doing. The color is red as it goes in. You're grounding yourself into Mother Earth, hence the Earth element. And you're spinning it like a wheel, spinning like a wheel in a clockwise motion. So there you go. You have your essence, the cinnamon of the myrrh, the color, grounding yourself into the Mother Earth. The Earth element deals with your grounding, your security, your bread and butters in life, for instance, your financial income, the love, the support, the people that you have around you, your family, your friends, okay? It also deals with a little of the sexual energy, okay, because it's at the base of your spine, reproductive organs. Now moving forward, if you are not grounded, you know, you would have issues with having a lot of fear, a lot of worry, okay? A lot of fear, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. You want to stay grounded for various reasons. You want this running properly because those areas in your life with money, success, business, as well as love, concrete, okay, family around you, you want to stay grounded. You want that spinning. Now there is a crystal that is also associated with each one of your energy centers. For the base of your spine, you have hematite or the bloodstone. So hematite is usually like a grayish black, all right? And you could hold that in your hand at the same time you're doing this. So as you inhale, not only is the color, the essence, 
and you're spitting it, okay, you're also releasing all energies of fear. Just giving you permission and releasing all energies of fear, holding this, downloading, integrating, activating hematite or the bloodstone. A bloodstone is usually a red with a light green. So you could hold either one of the crystals. Now, if you don't have all these crystals, that's fine too. No big deal. I'm just going through each of the energy centers and all the different properties associated to each specific energy center. You could hold the same crystal doing the whole alignment with the same exact crystal. That is fine too. Downloading, integrating, activating as you inhale. The essence, the color, grounding, spinning like a wheel, downloading, integrating, activating the crystal. Good. That's it. Inhaling it, clearing it, releasing all fear, all worry, all concern about money, having it, not having it. Okay? All worries, concerns about family. Releasing all these fears as you blow out, it's leaving your space, leaving your energy, leaving your body. So you inhale the new energies and you exhale all that old junk. Now the food element that's associated with the earth element is proteins. Your proteins would be your beef, your lamb, your chickens, your fish, your seafoods, your eggs. So if you notice yourself wanting to consume more protein at a certain time in your life, maybe you have to get more grounded. Or if you notice yourself gravitating to a lot of red vegetables, you need to focus more on grounding yourself. Your body's going to crave certain colors, not only by consuming them, sometimes all of a sudden you might want to wear a certain color that you usually don't because your body is starving for their energy center to be nourished, to be replenished. Now, outside of the food element, we also have the sound. The sound for the earth element is so that's what you would say. Now I hope that you're taking notes so that you could do this in your own time period. Because right now I'm just educating and teaching you how to go through all of your energy centers and how to align them. But you could do it more in a synchronistic pattern as you write down all the colors the elemental properties from the crystals, the essential oils, to the foods, to the sound, and releasing what energy, what emotion. Now remember, we want to spin that energy when you inhale it, okay? Moving forward to the navel center, right at the navel. The energy is water. The divine flow, trusting in the divine flow. The divine flow. Again, this is dealing with relationships, emotions your emotions, relationships. Now, let's say you had a bad breakup, and it could have happened 15 years ago, all right? But that energy is still there. We have to clear that out. Why? Because if we don't clear that energy out, we're gonna keep on repeating that old pattern, that old wound, because it wasn't healed. We have to let it go with love. Letting the divine water circulate through us. You're also connecting in to the water of the earth. Thinking of water, the color is orange. Now moving forward into the essential oil for that particular element, okay, is your dragon's blood or saffron. So if you don't have that, that's okay. Just use the same essential oil. Take a little bit, whichever one you want to use, okay. I'm just giving you the specific ones associated with each energy center. Put it on your hands, inhale, the color is orange. Exhaling out, spinning like a wheel, okay, right at the navel center. You're inhaling the essence, you're spinning it, telling it what to do, releasing all old emotions. Now you want to focus on, let's say it was one person. It could have even been a friend. It could have been something very minute. But whoever's showing up in your energy at this moment, or an emotion that you know you need to release, anger or hatred, okay, when it comes to your emotions, relationships, unfinished business there. You just let it blow right out of that navel center. As you inhale, you're inhaling the color orange, the essence, okay, and you release and you spin in a clockwise motion, okay. Now the crystal that is associated with the water element is your carnelian or your corals. 
and it's also the color of like a reddish orange. Carnelian, it's very small that I have, but you just put that, you could hold it in your hand, downloading, integrating, activating this element, carnelian, okay? Soaking up like a sponge in water, it's spinning like a wheel, the color is orange. Inhaling, inhaling the essential oil of either dragon's blood or a saffron. Otherwise, keeping it in sync for all of your energy centers with the same essential oil. Downloading, integrating, activating all of these elemental properties. The energy isn't a food, but rather a liquid. Rehydrating yourself, hence water, liquid. The sound for the water element would be ooh, and that is for the water. Empty now old relations, old emotions. It could be something that you find very insignificant, okay? Hurt, sadness, grief, guilt, all energies with this person I release, I let go, I let it flow out of me. Releasing that relationship, any judgments I had on myself or them, what happened, what didn't happen, I let it go. Flowing out, washing through, inhaling through the nose, out, exhaling through the mouth. Moving forward into your fire elements, stepping up to your solar plexus, okay? The color is yellow. Moving forward into the essential oil, okay, would be uh, your ginger and or your blueberry. Take your essential oil, maybe it's the same one, maybe you're going with ginger or blueberry. Again, inhale to the solar plexus, the color is yellow, spinning like a wheel. This is your power center, your battery, your vital energy, your power, your passions, okay? Now, we also want to call all of our energy back to ourselves. Calling all of our energy back, all of our authentic energy, all of our power. All the places where we left it and we didn't even realize it. Maybe with your teachers, your friends, your family. Calling all of our authentic energy back. So as you call it, you actually are pulling it all together like you're inhaling it back to your energy. Filling up all the particles, all the spaces in your energy, inside the body, outside the body. Inhale, the color is yellow. Exhaling out, spinning like a wheel, flushing, cleansing, clearing all other people's energies inside of you that don't serve you. Okay, we collect other people's energy. Is that good? If people really want Sherry, they don't want my ancestors, my family, their downfalls, what they think, how they think, how they act. No, they want my authentic self. When people come to you, they really want your authentic self your truth, your power, okay? The color is yellow and it spins, releasing all energies of anger in this space, okay? A lot of times people store anger in this energy center known as your fire element. Anger doesn't serve you. It's gonna cause havoc, okay? Not only in your life, but also in your physical body, causing people with indigestion, acid reflux, heartburn, different complications, in the torso, in the solar plexus. Now the energy is your amber or your citrine when it comes to the elemental property of a crystal. A little citrine is kind of like a beautiful color orange with some white in it, okay? That's citrine. Again, downloading, integrating, activating, you can put it over that space, okay? As you inhale, you inhale the essence, ginger or blueberry or the same essence, exhaling, spinning like a wheel, Soaking in the elemental properties of this times infinity, soaking in. All right, moving forward. In this space, it's about your grains when it comes to food, your grains. And the sound for this fire element would be, oh, downloading, integrating, activating, spinning like a wheel. At the end, once again, we're going to be checking our chakras with the pendulum. Now, after you go through each one, if you really wanted to, I would say do it at the end, okay? Because right now I'm just teaching you. Tapping into the fire, calling all my authentic fire back to me, all my authentic power. You could be specific or just general. Through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, calling all my authentic power back to myself. My authentic power. You see, it's spinning strong. You want it to spin in a circle. We just cleansed and cleared it. It should be spinning in a clockwise motion. 
You're telling it what to do. It will do what you say. You are the master of your universe. Understood? Good. Moving forward into the heart space. Of course, we're dealing with the energies of love, connection, balance, the heart space, emotions. So we go into the heart space, and once again, the color is emerald green. Now, when people come to me, is their heart space sometimes at emerald green that I see clairvoyantly? No. It could be like at a muddy green, okay, really mossy, heavy green. When we're feeling very out of alignment, heavy, depressed, sad, exhausted, angry, nothing's going away, these energy centers, they're definitely not spinning in the right way. They're definitely not the beautiful color that they should be in the reds, oranges, and yellows, and so on, okay? No, they're heavy, they're dark. They're dark with that shade. Okay, when a person's third eye is open, they're very clairvoyant, they could see how the energy and the color is, known as your aura. The heart is not only the emerald green, but we're also dealing with the rose quartz, okay, or the kunzanite. Now, those are the crystals, the rose quartz, okay, of course, it's pink, or the kunzanite, it's kind of like a violet pink. A violet pink so if you have those crystals great if not you could use the same crystal to align it's okay hold them in your hand put them over your heart space however you want to do it okay do either one downloading integrating and activating here we're dealing with the energy of not only love but trust trusting all the areas times memories recollections when you didn't trust as we inhale okay the Essential oil also is rose, not just the crystal rose quartz, okay, but also the essential oil using a little rose. Inhale to the heart space, exhaling out, spinning like the wheel. The color is emerald green, spinning, cleansing, clearing. All times you lack trust, you didn't trust, you were hurt, you were lied to, okay. Giving and receiving, giving and receiving love, okay, that's what this is dealing with too. A heart space, giving and receiving love, opening to giving love, opening to receiving love, emerald green, inhale, and out, spinning, downloading, integrating, activating, eucunzanites, the crystal of eucunzanites, of the rose quartz, the food is vegetables, eating a lot of vegetables will help strengthen your heart space. If you think about the greens, all the green vegetables, all vegetables in general. Green vegetables, heart chakra is emerald green. The sound is ah. And yes, you would say that sound when you're doing this. As you inhale, spin, inhale, essential oil, holding the crystal, okay? If you're noticing yourself wanting to eat a lot of vegetables or you need to eat a lot of vegetables, it's gonna be strengthening your heart space. As you focus in here, once again, the sound is ah, spinning like a wheel. Moving forward, after your heart space comes your throat, your ethers, your communication channels, your yin and your yang, the female male energies, okay? Communicating, healing, Eucalyptus is the essential oil. So I grab my eucalyptus, all right? Put a little in your hand, put it down, rub it together. The color is blue at your throat. It's like an aqua blue. Inhale to your throat. Exhaling out, spinning like a wheel. As you inhale again, you're inhaling the color as well, igniting it, filling it up with that color, with that light, with that essential oil. Inhale. Communication channels, all things said or unsaid, okay? Neutralizing, clearing, purifying, releasing, all right? The crystal, as you're right. The turquoise crystal, as you're right. Uh-huh. So, it's like a blue crystal, as you're right, or a turquoise crystal. Hold it, put it on your throat chakra. As you inhale, you're also activating the crystal, okay? So, inhale. Exhaling out, spinning like a wheel. The color is aqua blue, spinning, spinning. The food element is fruit. All of a sudden you want lots of fruit 
Or maybe you tend to like fruit over vegetables. I tend to like vegetables over fruit. A lot of people who tend to want more fruit, a lot of times it's that they actually have to feed their communication channels to be a stronger communicator. Maybe expressing what they need, what they want, their emotions, their words, okay? Maybe if a person likes more vegetables as opposed to fruit, they gotta get stronger in their heart space. Maybe trusting, trusting someone, okay? All the times, feelings, emotions, memories, recollections, all the th things that I said that didn't resonate with me or other people, as you release it, you exhale it out, you're blowing it out. Get it out of there, the cobwebs. What I said to this person or that person, let it go, okay? Fruit, the sound is I. That's right. The sound, once again, is I. Spinning like a wheel. The color is aqua blue. Now moving forward into the third eye. The visions, the intuition, the clairvoyance, seeing not only into your present, but also into your future. Third eye, you wanna open that, boom, just like a window. Open that up, the color is indigo. Your third eye, your intuition. The essence is lavender. Just take a little lavender. If you don't have lavender, use the essential oil that you're using to sync up all of your chakras, maybe with the same essential oil. Inhale it to your third eye, the color is indigo. And exhale it out through your third eye, spinning like a wheel. Spinning like a wheel. The color is indigo, filling it up. Think of yourself pouring, okay, like a glass of water. As you fill that color in that space, nourishing, replenishing your pituitary, your third eye, your penal, your glandular system. Inhale lavender, exhale blowing out like a fountain, activating your sixth sense, your visions, your clairvoyance, your seeing, opening up to see not being afraid. Inhale, spinning indigo light. Crystal is lapis or amethyst, okay? So lapis, I don't actually have the lapis, but I do have amethyst. Now that's a larger amethyst, of course it's purple. Otherwise you could take a smaller one, put it on your third eye when you're laying down. Or once again, do I have to have it on the space? It would be ideal, but not necessary, okay? Energy is energy. When I'm downloading, integrating, and activating this, okay, to people in Russia, okay, when I'm doing a session via Skype, okay, or in Europe, or in Africa, okay, I don't have to have it on the person's body. All I have to do is send this intention, okay, and it goes there, so I could hold it in my hand, downloading, integrating, activating, amethyst to my third eye. Or maybe you don't even need that crystal. You could just have the intention, okay? Because as I talk about with pendulum testing, how to know what's good and bad for your body, okay? I don't even have to have the actual product when I'm testing to see if a product is good or bad for the body, okay? So I don't even have to have the product, I just have the intention. So you could actually just say amethyst, you could say the essential oil, all right? Of course, it's not gonna be same to the essence as you're inhaling it, but this is the amethyst. You can put it on your third eye, okay? Or the lapis, if you have lapis, okay? The element is air. It's not a food product, but this is air, okay? That's what's gonna nourish this third eye. So again, we inhale the lavender, indigo, then we spin it like a wheel. Good. Downloading, really integrating, activating the lapis, the amethyst to the third eye, soaking in like a sponge in water, downloading, integrating, activating. It's air as it goes through it, in it, and around it. And the sound is hey. Once again, the sound is hey. Spinning. Good. Moving forward into your crown chakra. The crown chakra is violet, as I mentioned earlier. It's a connection into our higher self, 
to source, to God, to the divine. Enlightenment, awakening, spiritual connection. The color is violet. The essence is jasmine. So I'll just grab some jasmine, put it in the hand. Otherwise, use the essential oil that you're using to sink up, rub it together, inhale the color violet to the crown. And exhaling out. Good. Compassion, higher self, divine love, unconditional love, allowing it to come in, unconditional love. A love that many people do not even have this unconditional love. We think we do, okay? But we're working our way there to master this unconditional love. We're just inhaling this violet light, which is filled with unconditional love as it comes in through our crown, washing through our body, in our body, and around our body, <sighs> connecting into higher self, source, awakening, enlightenment, anything that's blocking our higher source connection, okay? Tourmaline is the crystal. Now there are different shades of tourmaline. There's also clear quartz that you want to work with for the higher connection, the source and the divine. All right? So once again, you could hold that. You could put it above your head. Okay, I like to just hold them. Okay? Sometimes I like to sit here as I do it, as opposed to laying down. All right? I'll just hold a crystal. Sometimes I'll just use one crystal to sink them all up together. I'll just use one essential oil. It's totally okay. I'm just giving you the exact ones for each chakra center, okay? Downloading, integrating, activating, clear quartz into my crown, into my higher self, into the violet light, spinning like a wheel, clockwise motion. The energy isn't food, it's not air, but here, rather, it is fasting. That's right, fasting, no eating. I do fasting a couple times a year. Usually I'll do one fast, 10 days straight, no food, just a liquid, a water, a water detox, okay? Sometimes I'll do three days. Sometimes I'll just one do one day, no food. Fasting strengthens the higher connection to higher self, getting clear, getting connected. The sound for the crown chakra would be e. Once again, the color is violet, igniting the body, all violet light, moving through you, in you, and around you, filling you up with what? Unconditional love. Every cell, every fiber, not only in your physical body, but in all the energy, going into the past, to the present, and into the future. All energies that are connected to you, inhaling this violet light of unconditional love, coming in through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, filling you up like a balloon. Inhale the violet light, jasmine. Exhaling out, spinning like a wheel, good. And like I said, with the pinwheel, you wanna envision, envision that spinning, just like a pinwheel, okay? Having some complications with this guy, all right? Now, I think I'm spinning the right way according to the video camera, okay? So you want your chakras, because actually, the chakras look like a pinwheel. They look like a pinwheel. They look like a pinwheel. So this purple one isn't spinning as much as it's probably bent. So they spin like that. That's why I use this example, all right? Now, moving forward, I'm gonna teach you now, we want to connect them, sync them up. So right now, I'll just say connecting earth to water, water to earth, earth to fire, fire to earth, plugging in, spinning like wheels, connecting earth to air, air to earth, earth to ethers, ethers to earth, earth to light, light to earth, earth to higher self, spinning, integrating, activating, okay? Then I want you to spin it almost like a, a figure, like an S going through you, all right? They're moving, all right? Then again, you would move forward into your water elements, the navel, connecting water to fire, fire to water. Water to air, air to water. Connecting water to ethers, communication channels, ethers to water. 
Connecting water to light, light to water. Connecting in water to higher self, higher self to water, spinning like wheels. Downloading, integrating, activating. Spinning, connecting. Inhaling that. Connecting in now fire. Fire to air, air to fire. Clearing my left hand. I feel a release there. I can feel things in my body. This is the first release I'm having in my left hand. Connecting fire to ethers, ethers to fire. Clearing temple left side. You're going to feel releases. Maybe you won't feel it physically, but they're happening. Okay? I'm very, very sensitive, so that's how I'm healing. Not only myself, but other people. Connecting air to light, light to air. Air to higher self, higher self to air. Jaw left side. Okay? So you want to connect each one of them. Okay? And then we spin them. We connect them. Spin them. And you can breathe through this. Now moving into the ethers to light, light to ethers. Left hand clearing. I'm going to do that again. You might want to do it a couple times. You might know. You might be feeling things. You might be picking up things. Ethers to light, light to ethers. My jaw. I could feel a lot of release in my jaw. Ethers to higher self, higher self to ethers. Okay? And I remember when I checked my chakras and start, my heart space and my crown space were actually, weren't really moving. Okay? So now moving forward, moving into my ethers to light, light to ethers, ethers to crown, crown to ethers. Now connecting light to higher self, higher self to light. Spinning, integrating, activating. Okay? They're all spinning right now. Now I'll come back to my handy dandy pendulum. Okay? And I'll just check in. How is earth? Tapping into my earth elements. You want it spinning in a circular motion. How is my water moving? How is my fire moving? You want it spinning in a circular motion. How is my air functioning moving? Okay. Okay, good. How is my ethers, communication moving? Clearing in my left ear, I can feel release in my neck. Good. Left hand's clearing. Good. Communication channels. You could say strengthening, clearing if it's not spinning. Spinning in a wheel, clockwise motion. The color is blue. Tapping into your th my third eye. How is my third eye, my visions, my clarity? Good. And to my higher self. Then you just tap in, oops, and the higher self. So, after you're done with that, they should all be spinning, moving, okay, in a clockwise motion, as mine were, okay? When you first start, they might not be moving in that way. They might not even be moving. Hence, whether your life is a little upside down, inside out, okay, in certain areas of your life. So if you want to do a speedy way before you get out of bed, all you have to do is just lay in bed before you get out of bed, just for a couple minutes, and just go forward, spinning earth, spinning water, think of the color, spinning fire, spinning air, spinning ethers, think of the color of the blue, spinning light, indigo, and spinning crown, violet, spinning. Then you want to ground yourself before you get out of bed. Grounding myself into Mother Earth. Connecting into my authentic earth. Authentic water. Authentic fire. Authentic air. Authentic ethers. Authentic light. Authentic higher self. Then see them all spinning in a clockwise motion. And just see them moving through each other with ease. All the way down through your feet, connected into Mother Earth. And that's how you do it all your elements of your chakras. The quick version, right before you get out of bed, do we have to do this? No, you really don't. I'm just giving you the idea, okay? So that's how to cleanse, balance, and align your chakras. And that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Peace.